This is the larger high G prototype that we made for you folks. It's also nine centimeters long, but has a larger four centimeter outer diameter. The same location of the pressure port as the smaller sensor, so here in the center of the bottom end cap, and the same location at the center of mass for the plus or minus 400 G accelerometer. And it also ha uses the same magnetic switch, this red bar here. So to turn the sensor on or off, all we need to do is move the magnet close to this switch. The sensor light goes on, that means it's running a diagnostic check. And after everything is good, it will start recording data in blinking blue. That means that the data is being recorded successfully to the micro SD card. When the experiment is done, take the same magnet, move it close to the switch, and turn the sensor off. And similar to the small sensor, it has these two mounting points. Please make sure that you pass your fishing line or your cable through both of these points just in case one of the strings breaks or comes loose. We have a backup string. To open it, it's the same procedure. Just put your fingers inside here and you don't need any tools. You can un unscrew it by hand. Check to make sure that the o-ring is clean, that there's no dirt or debris. If there is dirt or debris, go ahead and wipe it off with a paper towel and then put on some of that silicon lubricant just to keep it nice and sealed. To take the sensor out, you can just use your thumb and push it in. The sensor pops right out. And to retrieve data and to charge the battery, you can use any micro USB plug. It just plugs in here like a standard device. And the battery charging light will go on and you can record the data. Um, the data are, so, will pop up as the micro SD card on your laptop and you can just drag and drop the files as needed. So to close the sensor, the same procedure as the small one, check that the o-ring is clean. Push it back together. Put in the end cap here and screw it in. And you're done.